can of hearty chicken alphabet soup. That's right, I'm hearty chicken. He's hearty chicken. And I'm here to tell you all about the good things that go into my hearty chicken alphabet soup. Something good and hearty for each letter of the alphabet. In the hearty chicken alphabet soup kitchens, we use only the finest, hardiest ingredients to assure you get a soup that meets our own hearty standards. Good sturdy ingredients like anchors, basketballs, and carburetors. Ingredients you won't find in weak and watery soups. Ingredients that cost a little extra, but are worth it, like dust pans, erasers, fenders, and gravel. These hearty chicken. Each can of hearty chicken alphabet soup has to pass my personal inspection before it leaves the hearty chicken alphabet soup kitchen. He's hearty chicken. That's why I make sure it contains good hearty ingredients like hubcaps, irons, and jackhammers. This soup is so darn good cause it contains all my favorite things like kettles and lanterns, moldy old mothballs, Norwegian nightshirts and gravy stained overalls, plungers and quack grass, ratchets and springs. These are a few of my favorite things. And that's not all. In every 36 ounce can, you get stick to the ribs ingredients like tailpipes, ukuleles, vaporizers and wagon wheels. Not to mention old xylophones, yo-yos, and a long silver zipper. He's hearty chicken. So the next time you go to the store, ask mom to get your can of hearty chicken alphabet soup. It's the soup made by real chickens. He's hearty chicken. Ah, that's my kind of soup. Want some? Professor No, I'm here to say and to relay good things that you should know. Emotion is my lesson, it's my lecture for today. So let us now proceed and let us not delay. Emotions are your feelings when you're happy or you're sad. You feel them when you're lonely or frightened or you're glad. Feelings can be funny things, they're hard to understand. One day you feel awful and the next you feel grand. What makes one person happy may make another sad. It depends on who you are, if something's good or if it's bad. I'm a computer with no feelings to relate. I don't know what it is to feel top-notch or even second-rate. I'm not like all of you who can feel quite low or full of bliss. I don't feel anything at all and wonder what I miss. Hello, hello, I'm Professor No. I'll be back, I have the knack. But now, I have to go. Jenny is my big sister. Jenny says I am too little.
Jenny says I am too little to ride my bike with her. Jenny says, I am too little to skate with her. Right. Jenny says, I am too little to play with her friends. Jenny says, get lost, Becca. be too little. Someday Jenny will want to play with me. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny and I will play together. noise going on. What can I do? I know. I'll recite the alphabet. That will take my mind off the noise and I'll be able to fall asleep. At least I hope so. Let's see. A. B. C. D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q,
should you be afraid of school? No, you shouldn't. I felt scared. I didn't want to go to school. I wanted to go home. I wanted to play with my friends. I didn't like to do homework or anything, but I did like to play. The first day I came to school, I was sort of embarrassed because there were all these people that I didn't know, but now I know them. It's not so scary. Yes, I didn't want to go to school. My mum said, you need new friends. I wanted new friends. I did want to start early when I was little so I could learn. To learn it means something you don't know. Somebody is going to come along and help you and help you try it out for yourself. You count numbers on your fingers and things like that. It's scary if you don't know the teacher, but soon you get to know her and things turn fine. The teacher teaches you things and then you go by yourself and sit down and work it all out. Give us work and explain it to us. Show us how to do it because we are supposed to learn in school. Learning is something fun and then sometimes it's hard. But once you learn it, then after a while, it turns out to be easy. That's the way you get to know how to read the words. You have to try the letters out. Reading is my favourite thing because after you are finished doing your work, you get free time. Because we have to learn and then we have to talk about things. Then we have to read to ourselves. Because if we don't know how to read, you won't get to go to college or anything. Then you will have to work harder the next year to catch up. The more you repeat things, the faster you learn them and get better at them. I always thought that school was just for learning things. I really didn't know what it was like until I tried it. You learn things that you don't know and you discover things and you get to draw and make things. You go on trips. You do a lot of nice things in school. And it's fun. Down in the deep, way under the sea, I live in a cave, there's no one like me. I have many charms and eight lengthy arms. I'm an octopus. I'm really a sight wherever I go. I wave my long arms and go with the flow. I'm no fish nor snail, not a crab or a whale. I'm an octopus. Suction cups cover my arms, as you see. If I pick you up, you stay stuck to me. But I'll give you advice. I'm really quite nice. I'm an octopus. I'm a flexible fellow. I'll take any form. Just give me a cue and watch me perform. No bones about it. Don't ever doubt it. I'm an octopus. Besides being pretty, I'm also quite bright. In deep inner thoughts, I take much delight. I thought as I swam that therefore I am. I'm an octopus with eight curly arms. I can do many things. I just stick them out and everything clings. I can pick up a friend and not have to bend. I'm an octopus. I also change color if something goes wrong. If I get angry, I act tough and strong. My face will turn red, I become a hothead. I'm an octopus. But 
Most of the time I'm calm and serene I rarely get angry and I never get mean I sit by my cave and try to behave I'm an octopus I like who I am and what I can do I'm glad that I'm me How about you? I love life a bunch I'm just pleased as punch I'm an octopus Caterpillar with ten legs of fuzzy hair. They help me walk both up and down, around and over there. These legs are made for more than just walking, I declare. Their talent lies in counting, a great feat beyond compare. One, two, three, four, five. Boy, it's great to be alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On my feet, I can bend. I love myself, it's very true. I'm great in a word and deed. My skill is known both far and wide. I count with ease and speed. No friends can count as well as I with me. They can't compete. In a counting match, I make them feel the agony of defeat. One, two, three, four, five. My other legs will soon arrive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm ready now to start again. Some friends of mine have two legs and others have just four. <laughs> Still other friends have six legs and some have two legs more. Counting's not their game, you see, at that they're second rate. The best of them can try and try, but only count to eight. One, two, three, four, that's the end, I can't do more. Seven, eight, there's no debate, all of us are second rate. I win again, I always do, my fame goes far and wide. There are no others I can't beat, I strut about with pride. I alone am at the top, for I can come to ten. I count them down both back and forth, and then start round again. But what is this that comes my way? There's something here that's new. My friends have gained up for revenge. They will count me out. I'm through. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight. We're no longer second rate. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take our prizes from the shelf. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Caterpillars turning green. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Our counting now is good and plenty. Now we all can count like pros. Let's drop our shoes and count. One.
seven. And no, I'm here to say and to relay good things that you should know. Counting is my subject, is my lesson for today. So let us now begin and let us not delay. There are so many, many things that counting helps you to do. I cannot list them all, so I'll just list a few. Counting helps you know just how many things there are. From flowers in a field to marbles in a jar. It tells you just how old you are and what it is you weigh. It lets you know how tall you are and the proper time of day. How many friends, what grade you're in, how much there is to do, how big it is, how fast it goes, counting holds the clue. It helps you know how much it is, how high or just how far. It tells you just how long it's been and where it is you are. I'm Professor No, you know. I like to count, it's true. If you can learn to count like me, there's nothing you can't do. laugh at that. <laughs> Three men have a pet. Four hens get very wet. Five hens write a letter. Six men say theirs is better. Seven men sleep at night. Eight hens make it light. 
Nine men chase a hen. Ten hens chase the men. All the men run away. All the hens begin to play. Now, this funny story ends. All the men and hens are friends. I'm a fisherman, it's a life for me as I sail the ocean blue. I sing my song to the sky above and my course is always true. Up and down the waves I go with a hi-ho diddly day. I cast my line into the sea, that's how I earn my pay. Hi-ho, away I go, there's something on my hook. I'll reel it in, I'll crank and spin so I can take a look. Holy cow, I see it now, but what could this thing be? It's only dots, just little spots, that's all that I can see. I've never seen a thing like this, not even in a book. It's hard to tell just what it is that's hanging on my hook. Maybe if the dots were joined, I'd see a thing brand new. I'll take my pencil in my hand and see what I can do. Hi-ho, away I go, connecting dots is fun. One, two, three, now let me see, what is it I have done? I still can't tell, but all is well, there's more than I can do. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at last it comes in view. It's a hat, I say, what a silly thing to be fished up from the sea. It's much too big, it's not my size, it won't look good on me. I'll throw it back and watch it float and slowly drift away. Perhaps someday, not far from here, it'll find a place to stay. Hi-ho, I'll watch it go, it's drifting far from me. I'll wink my eye and say goodbye, the hat's far out to sea. But what is this? Something's amiss, it's coming back my way. It's gaining speed, it is indeed, I think it wants to play. toward me in a rush it just dove out of view i don't know why it does these things i wonder what to do there it is i see it now it's turning round about it's making waves and a funny noise i think it's going to spout i am a whale who wears a hat i'm quite a sight to see the hat i tip to all i pass and greet them happily hi ho away we go we're friends out on the sea i had my hat i gave it back we're happy as can be How many animals can you count at the zoo? Two zebras, two zebras, one elephant, five buffaloes, one rhinoceros, two rhinoceros, eating some hay.
Ducks, three ducks, seven horses, or six horses. One donkey. Two lions sitting down to rest. Looks like that lion just went to sleep. Ten flamingos. One giraffe. Two giraffes. Two giraffes. Oh, three giraffes. Not four giraffes. Four giraffes. Three, three, three. Oh, four. Four giraffes. Not four giraffes. How come they keep on changing? Three giraffes. I sit and watch the evening sky as stars come out above. They twinkle and they wink at me. They fill my heart with love. I perch upon my lily pad and croak with great delight. I wonder at the shining stars and why they shine so bright. High, high up in the night, the stars come out to play. They fill the sky with tiny lights A million miles away I could not count each tiny star That twinkles in the sky They're more than I could count by far No matter how I try The stars spread out beyond my view They seem to have no end Billions and billions up in the sky It's hard to comprehend I wonder what the stars could be. They're such a pretty sight. I wonder why they only shine when day turns into night. High, high, up in the night, a billion stars to see. I sit and look way up at them, and they look down at me. I wish that I could travel into the starry sky. I'd fly among the shining lights and never say goodbye. I'd like to touch and hold a star, just like a sparkling gem. But stars are much too far away. I'll never visit them. But maybe stars are just like home. Could such a great thing be? Suppose there's someone on a star who looks a lot like me. High, high, up in the night, our stars are home like mine. Our little froggies in the air, croaking songs divine. Our froggies up among the stars, I want to join their song. Am I a froggy on a star? Can I just sing along? I sit upon my lily pad and croak a melody. I almost hear my froggy friends croaking back at me. Up among the starry skies, I croak a song tonight. A billion froggies answer me, croaking with delight. 